thank you for the opportunity. My goal is to talk about turning it around faster when things start to go wrong. I appreciated that you just said step five is not getting mad at yourself for having a step one moment. I was trying to make my Christmas cards and Hanukkah cards and get them out timely, and things started intervening, and it seemed to snowball the way they intervened. And so I'm trying to figure out well, the, what I could do differently. We're going to make a really strong statement here. And if you can hear it and practice it, you will find the magic in this. Not magic, but practical application of utilizing the laws of the universe. At whatever point that you recognize that the momentum feels like it's against you, step away from it. Back away from it. Set it aside. Turn it over to the universe. Give it to the universe. Say something like, you know what I want. I've set it all in motion. Do your best with this. I'm out of here for a little bit. Because you're the only one messing it up. <laughs> you put it into the vortex and the vortex is doing its job and law of attraction is doing its job. And even more, source energy is all over it. And all kinds of cooperative components are coming into place. But there is a human tendency. Esther has it too to be in control of things and it's in control of conditions you see you don't want to try to be in control of conditions you want to be in control of your own vibration and the conditions will follow so when you're trying to be in control of conditions and you can't control them now your vibrations all out of whack and now the universe is responding to an out of whack vibration hmm. okay. so just relax Esther remembers watching someone in a big beautiful motorhome it was at least a million dollar bus it was beautiful and shiny and new and there was a big sign on this gate that said if you are longer than 40 feet do not turn here make the loop all the way around in other words rather than turning from here where there wasn't enough room go all the way around and you can get right out well they didn't see the sign or whatever and turned and scraped the whole side of their beautiful bus on the gate at this RV park and tore the gate right off of its track, an electric gate, and did thousands of dollars of damage to the side of their bus. The doors wouldn't even open on the lower bins. It was a big thing. And Jerry and Esther stood there, and they didn't know what to say because they were trying to flag them down. They were trying to get them not to turn there. They couldn't stop it from happening. And then they witnessed what felt like a tragedy to them. And Esther was standing there as the front door opened, and a woman stepped out. It was a couple. And Esther said, oh, I'm so sorry about that. She said, it's just paint and metal. It's just paint and metal. And Esther said, oh, my God. <laughs> she couldn't believe that this woman was so easy about something that looked so big and bad and awful mm -hmm. to her. It's just paint and metal. Jerry said, he must do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> She's adapted. <laughs> but we would like all of you to adapt to things happening. And so what? Oh, good. Something else to create around. Since you are an eternal being and there's never ending wonderful things for you to focus upon and be the steward of it becoming a reality about, then is there really any reason to be upset about anything or to put unnecessary time restrictions on yourself to get all bound up to measure yourself against what there's only one thing that you want to care about and that's being in the receptive mode and not because of what it will yield you because how it feels when you're in the receptive mode you could have an intention or a desire to amass quickly a million dollars or more and it's not likely that that's going to happen today the condition of a million dollars being in your possession it's unlikely that it's going to happen today but there is a vibrational version of that that is highly likely you could feel prosperous you could feel abundant you could feel free you could find the vibrational version of that you could find the unconditional version of that you could have said I'm sending my well wishes to all of these people I love vibrationally and they're getting so much glut of stuff in the mail right now mine will stand out when they get it in February or March <laughs> Esther receives so much 
mail and correspondence and well wishes that the girls just put it in boxes they try to categorize it for her and when she comes to look at it she's overwhelmed by it even if she spent the whole week that she's going to be home she couldn't even open it all or read it all or respond to it all and she said to us years ago Abraham what should I do about this what should I do about all of these kind people sending me all of this whatever that they want me to respond to and Abraham says see it and receive it with the love that they have sent it and project to them an appreciation for what they have done and recognize that the greatest value came to them when they wrote it when they offered it not when they're getting something back from you about it in other words find a way to put yourself in the receiving mode every time as much as you can it's all about self-soothing because if you're mad at yourself for not getting it done if you're angry that you haven't checked off your list on something if you're worried that someone will judge you or that they will be disappointed because they didn't hear from you or any of those things that sometimes you all feel about different things like that then you're not in the receptive mode and the receptive mode is all you have to give to anyone when you are in the receptive mode you're in the replenishing mode and when you're in the replenished mode then you have good timing then ideas come to you an idea about someone who would like to hear from you who's also in the receptive mode when hearing from you would be a good thing to do or happen right here and now when you're in the receptive mode everything rendezvous for you it's like getting into traffic at the appropriate time getting into traffic at the inspired moment taking an inspired direction exiting and getting back on in other words there's all kinds of information that is available to you from this broader perspective who sees everything that you are your inner being knows where you are in relationship to everything that you want everything that you want not just the big things every single thing that you want your inner being knows where you stand in relationship to all of it haven't you ever been on your way out the door and you've completely forgotten about something that you really need to take with you like the keys to the Del Mar house since that's where you're going and on your way out the door the thought comes to you where do you think that comes from and if you are frustrated because you are running late that idea is being offered to you but you don't receive it you don't even remember that you don't have the keys until you need the keys you see what we're getting at the receptive mode is everything it's clarity it's happiness it's joy it's appreciation it's good timing it's right place right time it's life-giving it's health it's well-being and it's a whole lot of things that are going to turn into really good stuff as a result of staying in that vibration more of the time you and a lot of others like you have been dabbling with these notions especially in the sports world they know about positive mental attitude they know about telling it the way they want it to be but we want you to use the resources that you were born with this magnificent emotional guidance system that lets you know in every moment whether you are allowing your desire to become more or whether you are preventing your desire to come more and the way you feel in every moment is the indicator of whether you're allowing it or disallowing it so when you're discouraged you're not allowing it and when you're angry, you're not either and when you're disappointed you're not either and when you're mad at somebody else you're not either and when you are resentful you're not either when you're feeling sorry for yourself you're not either when you are happy you are allowing your desire to progress when you are feeling appreciation when you feel interested in something so sometimes Esther said this to us in the beginning well if it were different it would be easier for me to feel better and we say we know that but that's so conditional and it's not only conditional it's conditional in a way that will never work for you because that's like saying give me what I want to create so that I can be happy about having created it and we say you got to be happy or you can't create it so most humans run around this planet and they look at what others have created and instead of it bolstering them and making them ecstatic about the potential of their own creation instead they feel jealous about what that person has created or mad at them for taking too much of the pie like there is one big old pie and you're all just chopping it up and if somebody gets really good at pie getting then the rest of you are deprived from it and you develop whole civilizations and government processes that say oh well we're just gonna take all this pie back and we're gonna divvy it up in equal little pieces and we're gonna give everybody their equal share of the pie and we say and some will take their piece of the pie in appreciation and it will grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and they will thrive beyond measure and others will be so upset about the poultry little piece of pie that they got that they will feel uncomfortable about the crappy little piece of pie that they got and their pie will not replenish so we want you to know that this is a seminar about pie <laughs>
this is a seminar about getting into that place where all things that you want will expand we want to talk to you about tapping in tuning in turning on to this vibration of who you really are so that you stay consistently in the replenishing mode when you're in the replenishing mode that means you never get tired you never have enough kind words to give to someone you don't feel depleted you've got enough energy to go the ideas keep flowing you don't worry about somebody taking your ideas or stealing your ideas or misusing your ideas you don't worry about them getting your pie because you know there's more pie coming it's in the oven all the time there's more pie there's more cake there's more of everything that you want everything that you want is in the becoming stage you have come to be the vibrational discoverer of it and so that happiness that you felt when that desire came into your conscious awareness that's not just the first step there have been many steps before that but that's the first step in you realizing how much fun it is to turn these thoughts into things these vibrations to thoughts and these thoughts to things because you are the creator of your own reality no one else can do it for you no one else can put you in the receptive mode Esther said to Jerry one time you make me so happy he said that's not my plan she said okay <laughs> all righty then never mind he said I don't want to make you happy but I don't want to get in the way of your happiness either because he understood even then that your happiness is an inside job your happiness is about your relationship with who you really are you came into this body and you're mixing it up and you're launching these rockets of desire and you are vibrationally becoming and the larger part of you the source part of you we've been for years calling that your inner being has expanded as a result of your life here in this body and has a vibrational frequency going on because of who you always have been and because of who you now are being that non-physical part of you is a very strong largest part of you and law of attraction is responding to that vibrational state of being so as you launch these rockets you have no choice if you want to feel good other than to vibrationally keep up with the rockets that you've launched and when you think about it the worst you ever feel is when you know you want something and you think you can't have it that's such a flawed premise because that is never ever true once it has come into your conscious awareness it's a slam dunk how long it takes is up to you and how much willingness you have to sort of stifle those negative words when you feel like speaking them and find another way of saying it until you feel better reach for the thought that feels best reach for the thought that feels best practice the first book that Hay House published for Jerry and Esther it's out on the table it's called ask and it is given has 21 processes in it every one of the process we wrote so that you would understand how to close that gap no matter where you are in relationship to what you want how to close that gap so what do you want to talk about nothing's off limits we're eager to talk to you about whatever matters to you we see our best advantage to you in helping you close that gap we also think that it would be a fun thing for us today if you could realize as a result of the conversations that we're having how a good feeling thought uh, turns into such wonderful things and bad feeling thoughts turn into such not wonderful things it's just the law you just can't get around it and nobody's thinking for you only you so if you want to when we're visiting it's up to you we won't demand it from you we might attract it from you <laughs> think it might be interesting for you to realize and let others realize it too when something that you're living isn't the way you want it what thoughts you were thinking that caused that manifestation because every manifestation comes as the further becoming of some thoughts that you have been thinking.